morning, thanks for joining me. I hope everybody's well and having a good day so far today. Um, I've just now just shut the blinds behind me and they're wobbling around, so apologies if they're distracting you. <laughs> They'll keep still in a minute. Um, today I have another Shein haul and try on for you, um, a selection of I think nine items we've got today from their fairly new in um, summer ranges. Um, I'm about to go on holiday, so I'm filming this a little bit in advance. And uh, and I've chosen a lot of the items today with sort of holidays and the su upcoming summer months in mind. These items were sent to me free of charge, but of course all opinions will, as ever, as you know if you watch me regularly, be very honest. <laughs> <laughs> for anybody new around here I always like to say that I'm 55 years old I'm five foot three and I'm a twin size 20 ish on the bottom and a 22 24 on top um, and with all that having been said let's get into it oh just to add I will of course link everything that I'm showing you today down in the description box and also in the pinned comment at the top of the comment section and I have a 15% off discount code as well which I will pop down there as well if you are wanting to place an order always use a discount code First item I've got today is this very simple tiered summer midi dress. It's got a short sleeve, it's got a v-neck, um, it's tiered, I just said that didn't I? Um, nice length by the looks of it. It's got, a, it's got a little bit of texture in the fabric and a little bit of stretch but not loads. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the texture on that fabric if I hold it up close, possibly. I really wanted, I've, I've got lots of summer dresses that are bright colourful colours and I wanted something that was just a little bit neutral so I picked this one out and I certainly like it before it gets on me so let's hope I like it equally when it is on me. <laughs> Well, we've started well, which is always nice, isn't it? I really like this. It is quite long, but I think the style of the dress sort of lends, sort of lends itself to being quite long. It's certainly not dragging on the floor or anything. Um, in an ideal world, I'd probably have it a little bit shorter, but us shorties can't eat always. Um, you know have exactly what we want in terms of the length can we i feel like it fits really nice across the sh nicely across the shoulders and under here and it's got this nice loose fit summer vibe i like the sleeves i feel like it looks quite nice all the way round i'm really pleased with the color as well sometimes i find different shades of beige can sort of um What's the word? Make you look a bit pale and pasty, but I feel like this is quite a good shade for me um, with my colouring. Um, yeah, I really like this. I think this is a good start. Also, the fabric, I mean, obviously, it's not expensive. It's um, going to be man-made fabric. It feels quite nice and loose. It doesn't have that clingy, polyestery, hot feeling, this one. So, um, yeah, if you want something that feels nice and lightweight and loose, this is probably a good one. Yeah, I like this. Thumbs up for this one. Next item today is this beach cover-up. Now you may remember from my last Shein haul I showed you a, um, have I got it here? I felt like I had it here somewhere. Yeah, a purple swimsuit. A light look more so, isn't it? Um, I didn't try this on at the time. I said the internet is not somewhere where I'm going to be trying on swimwear and showing it off. Um, but I, when I tried it on afterwards, I really, really liked it. So pleased with this. This one's coming away on holiday with me. And so I got this beach cover up to wear over it. It's sort of, it's one of those square sort of shapes. And then it's got this crochet detail at the neckline and on the cuffs and all the way down along the hem. And it's sort of a crink, I'm going to say crinkle cotton fabric. I'm going to look at this and it's going to be made of viscose, of course. It is, it's viscose and polyester. Um, I got this one in a 2XL. I think almost everything is a 2XL. If it's not, I'll try and remember to tell you. Um, but yes, I thought this would be a nice option for wearing around the pool or to the beach just to cover up my swimsuit. Okay, as you know, I'm not the world's biggest fan of showing my knees on camera um, or b b at all, but, you know, knees, knees must see what I did there. <laughs> knees must, knees must. Oh, I'm even amusing myself today. Um, yeah, I like this. You know, it's not something I wear to prance around town or in the, on the streets or anything in. But as a beach cover-up, I think it's really nice. It's nice and loose fit without being too oversized. I'd say this is the perfect size for me and it will be perfect in terms of putting over my swimsuit and wearing a mouthful. 
Now next is another item that could be worn as a beach cover-up um, but equally could be worn with linen trousers for an evening um, and a little camisole underneath or as a jacket or kimono type jacket. It's very versatile this one. First thing that attracted me was I just loved the print, the pastel. Is it pastel? I feel like it is sort of pastel. Um, all the different colours so you could wear it with all sorts of different things. Um, it's a button front, really long line shirt and it's quite sheer. Um, I really, really like this. I feel, I've got this one in a 3XL. I think that I got this size up so it would be really quite loose fit and I could wear it over other things. And um, yeah, pleased with this one, I think. So let's try this and see what it looks like. Oh, I really like this one. I mean, you couldn't wear it. it although it's the lengthwise, you could wear it as a dress like this. It is too sheer for me anyway. You know, you could definitely pop leggings or cycling shorts underneath it and it would be fine. Um, in terms of that, I don't know how see-through it is at the back, um, but it feels too sheer to, for me as a dress. But in terms of the length, it's just perfect. I love it. I can imagine it with wide leg linen trousers and a little white camisole, you know, just thrown over as a kimono, open front. Or as I said, you know, just as a beach cover-up thrown over your swimsuit. Really versatile, great item to pop in your suitcase and will also go with almost everything because of the colour scheme, you know. Next, I chose these trousers, which are, I'd say they're cropped, possibly a bit longer than cropped on me, but I really liked this detail on the hem. I thought the cutout detail was so pretty and unusual. They're sort of wide leg, and I would say they're a medium weight fabric. Have they got pockets? They feel, yes, they've got pockets they feel, um, in there. Um, that They have a little bit of stretch in the fabric. These are possibly not ones to buy if you don't like the polyester feel because they have got that. But for me, I just I just loved the style of them. I thought the um, cutouts were so nice that I was prepared to forgive that if that was the case. Now I'm going to pop that those on with this gorgeous white top. Forgive me, I haven't steamed it. I am quite short of time at the moment, so um, I, I didn't have a chance to steam everything. But how gorgeous is this? This is actual embroidery across here as well. I love this top, it's so lightweight. It actually feels like cotton, I'm sure it's not, but um, it's not, it's viscose, but it's really nice and lightweight. And um, yeah, I just loved the embroidery detail with the black. I thought with the black it would go really nicely with the trousers. I like both pieces of this, but I'm not sure I like them together. I feel like with the length of the trousers and the pattern on the bottom, I feel like perhaps the pattern on the top doesn't go well. I feel like I need a plain top and one that was a little shorter than this. But I love the trousers. I feel like they're great fun. They're definitely cropped. They come up well above my ankles, as you can see there. They're very comfy as well, elasticated waist, and they've got pockets. They don't feel too warm, but I think possibly in 30 degree heat, they might be a little bit too warm. I also really like the top. You can see there is a little bit of see-throughness in the top on the top, but I don't mind that too much. I generally wear a camisole underneath things if they're a bit see-through, and I think that would be fine. Um, I love the way it hangs with the seam across here and then sort of flowing out and skimming over all those difficult parts. It's got a little bit of the high-low thing going on. It's a bit longer at the back and it feels really floaty and summery and nice. Now, just occasionally in the summer, particularly in Britain, we will need a bit of a cover up over the top, won't we? And I chose this lovely long line, sort of, it's a fine knit, but it's almost like an open knit. I don't know if you can see the texture there. Um, it's a sleeveless cardigan, although it didn't look like a sleeveless cardigan in the picture because it's sort of oversized. Let's just pop it on. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a sleeveless cardigan because it, the sleeves drop down um, because of the shape of it. But I think that would be nice over not so loose trousers, you know, like more like capri pants or skinny trousers. I think that would look nice. I like it with this top actually because it picks out the pink in the top. Can you see the little pink in the embroidery? I feel like that sort of matches in really nicely. This also feels really nice. I, I, don't doubt it's polyester or viscose, but it feels warm, yet not that sticky sort of warm. It feels like you could put it on on a chilly evening and it would warm you up, but not 
have that sort of sweaty stickiness. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm explaining that very well. This would also be good on a plane. You know, when you get cold on a plane, it's almost like having a blanket to wrap around you, isn't it? Um, so yeah, and it would fall, because it's so fine knit, it would fold up quite small as well. So I might take this one in my hand luggage with me, actually. You can never have enough flowy, jackety, kimono-y things for summer, can you, that fold up really small into your suitcase. And this is another one that I chose. I'm, I'm just going to switch this top out for a plain top of my own, because I feel like with all this pattern, you probably need something plain underneath it. And um, we'll have a look at that one. Right, now I definitely reckon these trousers look much better with a shorter length top than the previous one. I'm much happier with those. I think it shows off the bottoms much better with a shorter length top and possibly a plain top as well, actually. Um, the jacket I like. I love the length. I love the sleeves. I love the pattern. I like the weight of it. It's chiffon, so it's very lightweight. But it's sort of, fo it's got these slits up the side, which are more V's than slits which I don't love, and um, it sort of, it has the, have I got my, maybe I just haven't got it on right, I feel like it, I've been trying to adjust it because it comes, the flaps fold back on themselves and then you've got the underneath of the material rather than the top because you haven't got the same print on the top, which is a shame, I feel like, I like it, but I feel like I'd be constantly adjusting it like this, you know, um, which is a bit of a shame. So I think that one probably my least favourite so far of everything I've tried on, but I, d I do love the colours and the pattern. Next we have this, you know I love a bit of bright blue, and it's got a bit of leopard print on it as well. This is a little summer dress, it's sort of just below knee or on knee length I would say. Um, it's I love the colour, it's that stretchy fabric with a slight sheen, um, which I quite like, not everybody likes, but I quite like this, I feel like it's quite a nice fabric, and I always feel like this sort of fabric hangs quite nice as well it's got a little bit of weight to it um, this is just sort of an everyday throw on summer dress I guess oh I like this one this one feels nice on uh, as I said about the fabric it's got that slight sheen so it's nice it feels nice against the skin um, I like the length it covers up my knees which is brilliant for me it's just a t-shirt dress really um, I like the sort of always tie-dye leopard print pattern and I love the color I think this is such a good color for summer Feels like it skims over everything quite nicely, which again is a thumbs up from me. And I like a v-neck as well, so yeah, feel nice in this one. In my last Sheehan haul, I showed a two-piece trouser suit uh, with navy trousers. I th was it navy trousers and a navy and beige top? And I know a lot of you liked that, a lot of you bought that one. So I thought I'd do another two-piece. This one's green and white. Um, you've got, again, the trousers. These are sort of a full-length trouser, sort of almost tapered, I would say. And then the top, this would be great for St. Patrick's Day, wouldn't it? Then a sort of boxy, fairly short top with shamrocks across. And I really liked the look of this one. Hopefully it will look as nice on as it looks on the hanger. I think this is my favourite of the whole thing. I really like this one. Now I have turned the trousers over just one, got elasticated waist, I've turned the waistband over just once um, for reference. I really like the way the trousers hang and they've got this sort of pleat detail in the front of them at the bottom just to add a bit of interest which I think is great. Um, they're really lightweight fabric but not stretchy and also not massively polyestery I have to say. The top is um, a sort of slippy polyester type fabric I suppose you'd say. I feel like it fits really nicely as well this. I, I really, really like this outfit. I feel nice in it. I think the top, length of the top is great. It comes down, just about covers my bum, covers my tummy, but isn't too long, isn't drowning me. I think for my petite ladies out there, this might be a good option. Do you know, there's nothing better than ending on a high, is there? I love ending on a high. Right, that is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. You should see the state of my floor that I've now got to clear up. Um, thank you very much for watching. Everything linked down there. Don't forget the discount code as well if you're going to place an order. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.